Hey guys, this is Alex from Community Commentators, and this is a tutorial on how to get, download, and use your Visual Boy, your um, Game Boy emulator, Game Boy Advance emulator, so you can play some Game Boy games, the old Pokemon games, if you can't afford them online or anything. So, this is what you do. You go to the first link, which will be in the description. It specifically says, this is the first link. Okay. Then you go download this version. Click on it. Open it up. Fuck you. Then you click on that. And then it um, opens and sh shit. I think you will have to download it though. After it's all downloaded and stuff, it'll, a screen will pop up like this. You can do full screen or small screen when you're playing games. But to get ROMs, you go to coolroms.com which will also be in the description and for this one I'm just gonna download a um, game that I don't have yet so yeah you click on the one you wanna look under for me I'm gonna look under Game Boy Advance Pokemon Fire Red is one of the top ones um, but I do not have I'm just gonna download Pokemon Mystery Dungeon because I do not have that yet so I'll just download and show you how to work this Um, okay. Get the fuck off my screen. That was weird. Hold on a second. Okay, well, I guess if a pop-up pops up like that, just go back and it brings you to the actual page. And then it'll show a picture of everything right here. Of what it looks like and everything. You just go to download now. This pop up right here will appear, and then you gotta wait till this goes away. Once it does, download file. Give it a minute, and then click on it so it opens right away. Just so you know, you do have to have WinRAR for this, so WinRAR is a free download. I'll put that in the description too. Alright. And then you bring this to a folder that you have specifically for gaming. I have a specific folder. I just call it gaming. Make it simple so you can put your emulators and shit in there. What the... F get the fuck off my screen. This is a tutorial, not an advertisement. Don't ever buy Nissan. They're assholes. They just fucking ruined my whole tutorial. Alright. Once that's done... Um... You go to your Visual Boy Advance, and I'll zoom in here. All right, you go to your Visual Boy Advance. You go to File. You open your game. Um, you go to the um, folder that you have it in. I have mine in Gaming, and um, for this, I'm just gonna use Pokemon Fire Red. And uh, this is. My Pokemon Fire Red. Oh, let me turn that down a bit. And then. So. Yeah. And, um. Just so you know, if you try saving on the actual game, it does not save. What you have to do. Here, I'll load a game quick. Alright, I'm here. Like, see this? Just say you wanna. Like, just say you got this far in the game and you wanna save because you're getting bored or your mom's making you go offline or whatever the fuck you gotta do. You gotta have sex with a girl. Nah, fuck that. I'd rather play Pokemon. But, say you wanna save. Doing this will not save anything. So, you cannot. This is not the way to save. The way to save on Visual Boy Advance, which is the emulator we are using, you go to File save game and you pick one of these slots make sure it's one that you're not using so you don't you know erase one of your old slots or you can just keep overwriting the same file but for me I gotta keep my old files in case a video messes up and it's saved now now just say I exit out and I open up my visual boy advance later visual void fence open it up later I open up my game and it won't say that it'll say that you need to start a new game that there's no save data 
well, like I said, you couldn't save on the actual game, so you gotta go to File, Load Game, go to the game that you had saved under, the file, the slot you have saved under, and then open it up, and voila, you are back where you saved. So, I hope this tutorial helped. Make sure to like and subscribe if this helped you out. If you have any more questions, comment below, and I'll try to answer all your questions for you. And, uh, have a great day, and if you have suggestions of games that we should play, comment below or message us in the inbox and we'll play them. And I hope this tutorial helps you all out. Have a great day. Bye bye One last thing, I forgot to record this part. You, when you save a game, these files will come up like firead.sav. Don't delete those or you will lose your save game. And don't leave these either. Just leave them. Just put them in the same file as, like, your game and whatever. Just don't delete these. The save game ones are important. Otherwise, your saved game will be deleted. And you will have nothing. You have lost everything. And you will never be able to play the same game again. The same way. Nothing will be saved. Everything will be lost. Your whole life will be in shambles. And you'll fucking kill yourself. So please, don't delete these. And if you do, after I warned you, you are mentally challenged, and I hate you. By the way, subscribe to our channel.